back, man. We back. Another edition of Urban Politicians TV. Had to come tap in one time, show some love to Bobby Smurder. You seen him hop off the jet. You seen him pop out. We seen what Quavo said. He was going to pick him up personally and everything like that. And he did just that. Pulled up, playing, got the greatest family getting off of it. Everything of that nature. And it's looking real good for Bobby Smurder, man. The game got to embrace him. We to tolerate it. As hip hop fans, a whole lot of weird stuff going on, everything of that nature. So we got to embrace the real and the silence and the essence and the core of what being solid and being real is with Bobby Smurda actually taking extra time for his man, Roddy Rebel. You see Quavo look at, link up with Roddy Rebel uh, last night. Also, you know, they had the situation where they used to always say the Schmigos and everything of that nature. So that's good to see them keep their relationship locked in and everything going on. And um, I'm expecting Bobby Smarter to pick up right where he left off. Dog loved doing music. He was having a good time with this shit, performing on stage, turned up, everything of that nature, going crazy with it. We already know the influence of the Chicago drill scene going out there to New York and everything like that. And they was the one, you know, Bobby Smarter was the nigga that really kicked that off and actually made a hit nationwide from a New York perspective. Started with the uh, dance, with the dance and the hat going viral. You know what I'm saying? It would have been dope if somebody would have just threw a hat up and let Bobby catch it finally. That shit would have been hard. But shout out to the team, man. Shout out to the whole GS9. Shout out to Brooklyn doing their thing. This is a real dope look. I'm expecting them to turn this right back up to where they left off. Uh, came home to four plaques, and that's dope. Two platinum, two gold plaques. That's a good look. Wipe this page out. Put the king of New York up. Frank White, let it be known. Hey, I'm coming from that. And it ain't no disrespectful thing, but Bobby Smyrna making it all. He finna come with that music. That's hard, man. So uh, also, sh shout out to the whole GS9. Now, welcome home, Bobby. Let's keep running that up and, and, and do that thing for sure. We got to support them and everything they got going on for holding and dying. But also, I got to tap in on this note to add on and be responsible in the journalism side of this game. I'm not a journalist, but I'm speaking on rap news, so I always got to be fair and factual when I do it. Uh, Vanessa Bryant had called out Meek Mill about the chopper. Uh, with the, I'm going out with the uh, chopper. It'll be another Kobe in a recent snippet. Meek Mill received a lot of backlash. Everybody was going off, and People were speculating last night with some crazy tweets that would have been crazy if he were a, uh, aiming them towards her, calling him out, because it, it happened rather late last night when she took it to a story. So uh, Meek Mill actually responded this morning, and this is what he said. I'm going to read it to y'all. He said, I apologize to her in private earlier today, not the public. Nothing I say on my page directed to a internet viral moment of, or the family of a grieving woman. If you care about someone grieving, change the subject. Uh, and I'll be honest with you. I'll be all the way honest with you, bro. Meek got to learn how to read the room. I'll be all the way honest. That right. Meek don't owe me nothing. Meek don't owe nobody nothing. Like I say, I'm going to still listen to Meek music. I still think Dog is a dope rapper. I still check out his tracks when he release them. Uh, Meek got to come with some music now, but it's like he's still trying to defend himself to the internet. And, bro, you never go win that battle. And I ain't going to lie, this right here was like one of them things where I'll be all the way honest, bro. You don't owe us no apology. He is, he don't owe the public shit. And I said that in my video, but her, yeah, and he did it in private, but the lyric came out in private, in public. And I'm not saying you owe, I can't tell nobody how to apologize, and that's not what I'm here for. I want to just point out that it can come off as like, hey, bro, like, I'm still like, oh, this is a grieving woman, da, da, da. and it's like, bro, well, you publicly kind of put the information out and the lyric out publicly, you know what I'm saying? And if you not feeling this, change the subject, and it's like, but you coming to the internet and addressing the internet, you could have just said, hey, bro, I apologize to her, it's all good. Hey, man, we moving on from it. I ain't got to come through it. It ain't got to be no viral moment. And you got to understand, this is the internet shit, bro. This is what's going to happen on the internet. And it's just crazy because we be, I be seeing like Meek is past this, man. And it's like, bro, I, I don't get it, man. I can't tell no other nigga how to move. I ain't going to lie. 
I be going off on the internet some, on some time. I go off here on the YouTube channel, so I can't judge, but when it's shit like that, I'm going to go and keep it a little bit more okay, a stack. Like, okay, I come out and, and apologize publicly to her, you know what I'm saying, out of respect for Kobe because we all know, bro, she grieving and everything of that nature. I come through and show that love publicly. Like, hey, I ain't too prideful to just come out and say, man, hey, I apologize to you, you know what I'm saying, directly, and not even care what the internet got to say because it still seems like me don't want to apologize publicly because he don't want to look like he backed down when that shit don't even matter. You still, in other words, it seems as Meek Mill is still moving for the internet, and I understand that's a big part of this business. you got to sell, uh, produce, promote to the internet to have a career in 2021, but at the same time, I I I just be like, hey, bro, you could kind of tone it down a little bit. It is what it is, dog. I ain't disrespecting Meek Mill. Never have. Don't see a need to disrespect nobody in this rap game if you ain't done some all around sucker shit or nothing in that nature. But I do want to send you know condolences to Vanessa Bryant, you know, for GG to everybody else who lost their life on the helicopter, and that's what I feel like was the big issue with this situation for sure with them having that loss. And that's why it ain't hit like a regular punchline. Have other artists use the Kobe punchline in different ways? Yes, but this probably, this one was kind of like, okay, bro, where is the bar that's really standing out? Where is it really hitting it? And could it been avoided? Did you really need that bar? I don't feel like Meek Mill really needed that bar and that bar is not going to make that song go crazy or it's going to be like one of Meek's hardest punchlines. But, hey, man, this rap, this hip-hop, this is a part of the game. It's always going to be a play on words. So it's however you want to look at it in your personal perspective. But at the end of the day, it's all about what the family and the, the wife and Kobe respected in our culture, what she say when, go when it comes to people speaking on her husband, in my opinion. That's just what it is. Subscribe to the channel, Urban Politicians TV. Y'all tell me what y'all think, man. Follow me on Instagram, Urban Politicians underscore Big Ant for shit show 1000, man. Stay on your pivot.